Don't get fooled again. Mayor Steinberg's push for a new Measures U tax will double and make permanent what was sold to us in the past as a temporary tax. With no restrictions on the money, you would be giving the council more power to push an extreme liberal agenda that could fully fund programs related to a sanctuary city while ignoring public safety, issues of gentrification, and simple repairs of our sidewalks. According to a May 4, 2017 Sacramento Bee article, quote, undocumented immigrants in Sacramento will have city-funded legal services as soon as next month to fight deportation and prepare for the worst as their fears grow about federal immigration enforcement, end quote. The article went on to say that in support of this cause, council members voted unanimously late Thursday to set aside up to $300,000. Six years ago, the first measure you was sold to us as a law enforcement and public safety necessity. Citizens, desperate to feel safe and wanting to protect our youth from frequent gun violence, sacrificed and approved a temporary tax that would generate about $28 million a year. The government fooled us because they started taking in much more than $28 million, up to about $47 million a year. And records show some of the money was spent on things beyond the core public safety selling points. So they definitely fooled us. Because here we are today with the government breaking its word and pushing to make the temporary tax a permanent one and also doubling the amount of the tax. Now they want $95 million or more of our tax dollars each year. They're pushing the public safety necessity aspect of the new Measure U, but many other spending targets are on the agenda. Things they could not get you to vote for unless they are chained to your wish to see better public safety. Section 3.27.160 of Measure U reads, quote, this chapter establishes a transaction and use tax. The tax revenue can be spent for unrestricted general revenue purposes, end quote. Basically, the tax money will fuel the liberal agenda. The city says the new measure will help maintain and enhance public safety, allow the city to invest in youth, affordable housing, and inclusive economic development. This leaves the public purse wide open for abuse and will probably be a grab back for needless consultants and contractors getting big payouts to provide the city with unneeded services. Will elected leaders, staff, and business people now get to travel the world on the public dime on some vague notion that it might enhance inclusive economic development? Under the new Measure U, the city can establish a new oversight committee which will probably come with new conditions and less actual oversight. Remember, quote, the tax revenue can be spent for unrestricted general revenue purposes, end quote. So if we wake up one day in shock, realizing our money is being spent on some liberal handouts, just remember, it's our own fault. Citizens in Baltimore experienced this when their city spent money on illegal immigrant services while many of their schools went without functioning heating and air conditioning units. There's a better way to move forward that nets real accountability of our tax dollars and real accountability of our police. And this plan would generate great police services. Citizens should have a chance for town hall discussions on the way forward, a better tax bill, and a crime reduction plan at a later date. Don't fall for the trap of Measure U 2.0. Vote no on Measure U. And hey, don't get fooled again.